All right, good day. Well, that didn't last too long. It's uh, it's official. Blabbermouth reports. Um, Slayer reunites. Um, announces first shows in five years. Now they're gonna be at Riot Fest. They're gonna be headlining that September twenty second in Chicago, and they're gonna be a uh, um. September 27th at Louder Than Life in Louisville, Kentucky. Now, um, this, uh, it's going to be uh, Tom Ayo on bass and vocals, obviously, Carrie King guitar, Gary Holt guitar, and uh, Paul um, Bostiff, Bostiff, um on drums. Um, they will return to stage this fall, headlining two major festivals, Riot Fest and Louder Than Life. Um, Aya says nothing compares to 90 minutes when we're on, um, to the 90 minutes when we're on stage playing live, sharing the intense energy with our fans. And to be honest, we, we have missed that. Um, King added, um, have I missed playing live? Absolutely. Slayer means a lot to our fans. They mean a lot to us. It will be five years since we have seen them. So, um. So, so yeah, it's, uh, now, um, Carrie King has got a brand new album coming out this, uh, May, I believe it, yeah, from it's May 12th, seven, no, May 17th. Uh, sorry. I thought it was the 12th, um, May 17th, uh, 2024, um, from hell I rise. And, um, he's already dropped a single, uh, Idle Hands, anybody that's, uh, heard it. Um, yeah, it's definitely got some Slayer vibes to it. Um, he's, he's happy doing what he's doing. Um, this, I, I don't, I don't think this is the, like the start of, well, will Slayer do another tour? I mean, I guess anything's possible and money talks. Um, you know, I mean, look at some of the bands that we thought we'd never see tour again and, money talks and uh so you know um that that can always change minds but um you know if you're also financially in a place where you're not worried about money you know and you're more doing it just for the love of the energy and um you know uh then yeah i i really i think that this could be the start of them doing scattered shows um that they could you know, do some festivals. That's like the biggest bang for your buck where, you know, there's a lot of people there to see a lot of bands. There's a lot of, you know, um, it's a huge audience. Um, and, uh, yeah. And I mean, come on, man, this is, you know, everybody thought that that was it. No more Slayer. We're not going to, you know, and it rightfully so because Tom surgery and all the stuff. I mean, dude can't even headbang no more. You know, I mean, it doesn't mean anything to, you know, to be a, an awesome uh, metal uh, singer basis, but you know, still it, it, um, it does affect his health for tour. He's not in touring capabilities i think um he he could do some one-offs and and you know carrie even says so much um you know in the uh in the in the article which we'll have you all linked up to to the shows to the the flyers the articles all that stuff uh blabbermouth pretty much regurgitates a little bit of rolling stones a little bit of loud loud wire talking about some of the past articles of you know them um you know, splitting up how Carrie like kind of found out through an interview and did you know wasn't told yet uh personally, uh which yeah, that is kind of crummy. Um, you know, but sometimes, you know, people I, I think, you know, say or do things when they're not thinking and they're like, Yeah, but that probably wasn't a good idea. <laughs> you know. Um seem seem fine at the moment, you know, famous last words. But um um Earlier this month, uh, Carrie King said uh, that he had not been in contact with Tom since Slayer played um, its final show more than four years ago. The 59-year-old guitarist discussed his band's uh, decision to call it quits, um, speaking to Rolling Stones. Um, and that's talking about, um, you know, how you know he found out, you know, through some kid doing an interview, you know. And that, like I said... Um, you know, and he doesn't, 
necessarily want to make music with somebody whose heart's not in it. And, um, you know, why keep pushing, you know, it's like flogging, you know, the whole term beating a dead horse, you know, just you're, you know, if your heart's not in it, it's going to start to even sound that way. And it's going to start to sound like money grabs and, and all that. And you're going to start hearing those words thrown around and, you know, maybe rightfully so. Now, Carrie had been in contact with everybody else except, um, Tom, he is like either talk to them through, you know, email or text or, you know, uh, phone, phone call or whatever, but not Tom now. Yeah. If you remember, they all had some kind of, you know, cited political views and all that. But one thing I do respect about them is no matter what, they were able to just be adults and do their job and give their fans an awesome show. Look, man, you can disagree about things. It doesn't mean, you you know, you can't, you know, you have to not respect each other. And, um, you know, Carrie King says, you know, we're both tequila ads, so I'll probably have a shot at tequila and we'll part ways. Um, you know, uh, I, you know, I think, uh, this will be a good, like little reunion for them. I think, you know, deep down, you know, they, they are for, they, they've shared a lot of time and, and memories and all that together. So it, it's hard to be like, yeah, screw that, <laughs> you know, um, you know, screw him. And, uh, I, I know for some people it, it might be easier. Um, but you know, th there's a legacy that to be proud of. And, um, and I'm glad that it didn't get mired in, in the muckery of political jargon and garbage like that. And, you know, again, I'm glad that they were able to, to end on somewhat of a, you know, um, amicable, you know, no, even though it was a, uh, surprise and, you know, that's a whole nother, you know, topic, um, you know, for a whole nother time. And, um, you know, uh, there, there has been quite a, in fact, now that I think about it, there's been quite a few, uh, uh, people from bands that have found out that their band is no more from third parties. <laughs> um, I could probably make a whole video on that. Uh, we know like, you know, Tara and stuff like that. Um, from, uh, yeah. The, so yeah. Nightwish and stuff. So yeah, it, that's, uh, yeah. Like I said, whole nother story for a whole nother day. Yeah, I could probably make a list though. Uh, so yeah, September 22nd and the 27th, if you're not doing anything and you happen to be in the Chicago or Kentucky uh, area, you might want to uh, check this out. Um, yeah, you're going to be lucky. This, uh, oh, you're going to have 140 bands on five stages at the Louder Than uh, Life show um it's uh, i think i think he says it's their biggest lineup yet um 140 bands on five stage jesus um let me know what you think about the five you know stage thing or the multiple stage thing um i've seen where the the stages are set up so different bands can play at the same time which i think is not that cool um and i've also seen it set up to where you go from one stage to the other as soon as one show ends another one begins and that's uh i i like that a little better although uh you you find people going and standing in front of an empty stage because they want to get their spot um and they're not watching the band that they probably might want to see but they want to see this next one and get a good spot so it's like all these choices have to be made over multiple stages and what do we do so what do you what do you think about the whole uh multiple stage uh, i know especially if you were the group that can be you know kind of a hard thing because you don't want to split up especially you know at big festivals um you know sometimes that can be a a, a problem but um uh yeah let me uh let me know what you think about this. Uh, are you gonna are you, are you ready? Are you gonna go? Are you gonna getting ready to go see 140 bands plus Slayer? Oh, 139 plus Slayer. Um, yeah, very cool. I uh, I hope that this is the beginning of them doing some you know one offs here and there. That okay, so we know it isn't out of the realm of possibilities because we were seeing this. So, um, you know, I, I think, you know, if, if the money's right and the lawyers and the management and everybody's all in line, 
then yeah, perhaps we could see some more Slayer shows in the future. Slayer tours? I don't think so. I don't think that's in the cards um, unless there was a lot of money and a lot of time between shows. Um, that's the only way I could see that happening, um, personally. Um, you let me know your opinion, what, what, what you think, if it's even a possibility. Like I said, I personally, I don't think touring for them is, is ever going to happen, but I do think that we, we may see some more shows from, from Slayer still yet though. So, uh, that, that's cool. One can dream. Did anybody have this on their bingo card for 2024? I know I didn't. I didn't. No, Slayer was kind of the furthest thing from my mind. We have a lot of awesome releases and a lot of cool things coming out this year though. We got... Night, we got a ton of stuff to talk about and uh, a whole lot of bands. And if that's what you're interested in, finding new music from all over the place, that's what we do around here. Um, we uh, we got playlists from bands and um, artists and uh, genres and stuff that I never would have found um, just following the algorithm. I found these things from following people's suggestions. So if you have a suggestion, please uh, leave leave it in the comments and let us know. And, uh, we will, uh, share it with the rest of the class as soon as possible. We have, um, found just so many awesome things by, by doing this. I've um, had such an awesome musical journey, um, and just the past year alone. Um, and you know, and I'm a radio guy that gets sent music on a daily basis. Um, and I, I just, I thought I, I knew, all that there was to know um in the end you know depends uh, it turns out not so much so yeah please uh you know um comment a band and if that's what you're into uh music news reviews reacts and uh finding out about all sorts of cool stuff and just talking music well hit the subscribe button maybe a little jingly thing and uh we'll uh, see you in the next one have a great day out there everybody and i i want to hear from people that, that get to go to this this is this is gonna be cool i think a lot of people are gonna be very very happy uh this is gonna be like their their christmas or birthday present <laughs> for the year um yeah uh awesome stuff um i can't wait to see the clips and all that cool stuff that we're gonna see so uh yeah very cool we got we got a ways yet to wait but it's very awesome to uh to get ready for it i'm sure these shows are going to sell out fast so get your tickets as fast as you can have a great day out there everybody we'll uh see you in the next one